and we're here at the ID Tech Egg Show here in Santa Clara. And who are you? My name is James Darius, and I'm the founder and creator of the Me Too EV charging system. Me Too EV. Yeah. So what Me is that? Too. Me Too stands for Mobile Electricity Everywhere. Mobile Electricity Everywhere. Everywhere. So this is an this is an EV electric car, yeah, right? Yeah. This is an electric car, battery electric only. But what have you done to it? I turned it into the world's first self-charging car. Let, let's open the trunk. Can you oh, show? Oh sure. Uh, it's what you have in there? It literally has junk in the trunk, and that's no kidding. Junk in a trunk. Think of that. That would be my motto, even though it probably <laughs> ought to be. We use old school lead acid deep cycle marine batteries. So those are lead acid yep. batteries? Batteries. You put in a trunk. Put in the trunk in under the hatchback. And under? Yeah. Why? So I can have an auxiliary power source to recharge my expensive lithium ion battery that was built into the car. So where did the normal lithium ion batteries go in this car? You they didn't take them the out, whole, right? Yeah. They are still there. They are still, oh no, the next version I'll take them out. Okay, but, okay. but underneath the whole underbody of the car, Does it, up into here, yeah. in the hatchback, and in the, tr in the hood compartment, are two lithium ion batteries that take up all that space. How much, how heavy is the, are those? 600 pounds. 600 pounds, and then you add some lead acid? Yep. How, how heavy is that? Another 600 pounds. 600 pounds in the trunk? Yep, and 600 pounds in the front. And that's not an issue to have extra 600 pounds? No, because the vehicle's rated to 1,200 pounds of cargo and people. But to overcome that, we also add an additional spring kit to it, uh, uh, spring lift kit, so it'll, it'll, it'll go down the road better that way. So why do you let lead acid battery? What's special about the lead acid well, batteries? One, the cost difference, the main battery in the lithium ion vehicle here in the Ford Focus, if I had replaced it today, the local Ford dealer still says it'd be twenty-two thousand dollars to upgrade the batteries if it went out. Is that the real price for uh, that that is, lithium is, ion? Yes. Is yes. that ten thousand? No, hell no. No. And maybe if you got a leaf or something with only about half the capacity of these, maybe it is. But so it's like a Tesla's battery is. Oh, is, you can how, ask, much, how much yeah. does that cost? Well, I'm thinking a dollar a watt are pretty close. So you got a sixty-four kW hour system battery. You're talking sixty-four grand to that Model S car being that. No, but a sixty-four grand. That's the price of the whole car, not no, the battery. No, that's just the battery. Not just the battery. For a Tesla, yes it is. You, you really think it's that expensive? Yeah, it's a dollar watt, and that's the minimum you, that it is right now, or at least last year. They probably okay? do it cheaper, right? Because they have a Giga factory. It ain't up and running yet. And okay, so but uh, but how much is your six hundred oh, yeah. pounds battery? Yeah, how much my, for the same almost watt? Is the, the Tesla battery or this battery here actually has a hair more, but this has it weighs six hundred pounds, and it only costs maybe twelve hundred dollars for the power. Twelve hundred dollars for. Tw for all this, for this whole thing. Yeah, for the battery power only. We're only talking batteries to batteries. The lithium ion batteries cost $22,000 for this car. And you think it's 20, 20 times cheaper? Yes, about twenty, about 18 times cheaper to be honest, reality, 18 yeah. times cheaper? Yeah. Plus, these batteries are for, far more We're sustainable. only talking about the weight right now only. Yeah, right? you're only talking weight. But weight how about is the equal. capacity? Almost the same capacity. But the difference is, when you compare lithium to lead acid technologies, lithium is less is less lightweight or more lightweight, but it takes up quadruple the volume. Really? See? So it takes more space? Yes, yeah, so it's not really apples to apples. Uh, if you looked at um, you know kilograms per cubic meters or something of both, lithium is lighter, but it, it still wouldn't have the same capacity. And it still weighs the same amount for the more voluminous lithium. But it, the people that market lithium ion batteries are geniuses, and I wish I could be that way too. So and you're I not will a genius? Someday. No, I'm not a genius at all. No? I'm just a local guy from Iowa. From Iowa. Who's, who is not even an expert in anything in this, but I'm tired of us being addicted to oil around the world and especially in America. And I want to break our country's oil addiction. Oil still has a purpose in life, but not for running cars anymore. So oil is, is bad. Yeah, well oil when you're burning it and producing CO2 and nitrous oxide and everything else is bad, okay? So you're a green uh, company. I'm trying to be green. You're trying I'm to be trying green. The whole process, the whole sustainability, and that's actually another reason why I went with lead acid batteries, okay? Because they are completely sustainable and recyclable cradle to grave. But, the but, lead acid battery, you have the electrolyte, so you recycle the sulfuric acid electrolyte, you chop up the plastic and grind it up and you remelt the lead, and it's basically 100% reclaimable. So okay? it's not toxic and dangerous? And no, no, not, not, not actually as toxic as the byproducts of a lithium ion battery when you decommission it because it's like unscrambling an egg. How about That's, explosive? Uh, is it more uh, explosive than No, you don't ion? have thermal runaway issues with old school lead acid. So it's safe? 
Yeah, I don't need no coolant really? system in my batteries at all. Uh -huh. It doesn't get too hot? And no, no, it can actually absorb a quicker rate of charge sometimes without blowing up on you. Is it, isn't it dangerous that the lead kind of leaks out? Well, we're, we got a solution for that and uh, some trade secrets on that, but it won't be an issue with our, with our go-to-market product. But I, I thought that uh, lead acid was not as efficient as lithium-ion by, by a, I think a bunch. There's a, uh, no, no, there's a lot more lead in the world in sulfuric acid in the world than there is lithium chloride in the world. By a factor of probably a hundred, actually. But isn't lithium ion much more efficient somehow? That isn't that what the industry well, is saying? Here, here's why people like it. Is the surge capacity to like run a Tesla, to really just go zero to 60, you can pull more energy out quickly, okay? But on the long haul, the slow and steady is better than then quick and dead, okay? So it, uh, so it doesn't go quick and dead? No, no, it, no, It goes no. slowly? No, it goes steady. When it charges and when it's parked, how the system works Ah, so it's, it's actually not powering the car at all. It wouldn't be able to, right? Uh -uh. So it's just charging your battery. Yeah, the, the lithium-ion battery. That's so how correct. does that work? Okay. Okay. Those batteries So we have the lead-acid batteries here, deep cycle marine. Underneath there'll be more. And then it's connected to a pure sine wave, 240 volt alternating current inverter. Yeah. And then the uh, alternating current yeah. inverter, okay, inverter powers this charger right here. And this is a level two home charger that is now built into the trunk, hardwired in. That's okay. And uh, we got mics that are very directional. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forget. Okay, and then you simply plug in, yeah. push a button, plug this into the bumper, and then uh, and then all you do. This is the normal charging port. This normal 1772 charging port that all electric vehicles in America usually use of this age, unless they're a Tesla and then they use their own proprietary one. And then all the guys got to do, plug that in there. Plug to plug. Plug to plug. And you're and you're charging the car right now. You're charging -charge. the car with the car. With the car. Nobody's done this before. I don't think so, but maybe they have. Uh, maybe I'm reinventing the wheel here. But I've been to a couple of trade shows in electric vehicles, and I've never seen anything like what I'm doing. And that's a good sign. Is that? I've heard is that experts your idea? tell me. Oh yeah, it just came to me one day. I had a vision from God, and He gave it to me, for real. Uh, so. Uh, what's not, next? Not uh, what do you think around. about the Tech Show? How's it been the show? This is the, oh, end yeah. of the show right now. Yeah, um, it has been the show for me. It's been the show. What? It's been the show. Yeah, yeah this show uh, made us actually. Um, and I can't say who or what, but we are getting funding because we came here. Somebody said they're going to fund my dream and idea of this. And, and the next, by coming out here, we got enough money now to get this business off the ground. Said it was worth it to come oh, over Oh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, completely. completely. And just the publicity, the input from people that have been coming by. So what's next? Uh, you, do you have some uh, strategy for the business model? Sure. How's it going to be? We're going to actually go to dealerships and set up a dealer network as our main distribution channel. And then also our website and from the Google search stuff to where we're going to be able to take orders. Then we're going to find installers that are ASE mechanics and put these kits on on their dealership in... Uh, so this is a Ford, but you don't need to talk with Ford at all, right? No, no, because... Just, it's just an add-on. An add-on. I don't tie in any of Ford systems. You make I a hole in the trunk or no? Well, yeah, but that's the hole in the trunk. I guess I'll be liable for that, but that'd be the only thing. A little a little hole, hole, saw in, the hole in there to put it all in, and that's all I'm doing. So the people who bought the car lose their warranty? No, no. No? They, they shouldn't. They shouldn't? They should not at all. Because all I'm doing is supplying power like if I was at a curbside charger. Because I do not integrate into the Ford at all. And my product you know, is isolated grounds, so I can't even be so back is, feeding power how, into the how, Ford. How are slow or what's the speed of charging? For, uh, okay. Well, at a parking charge now, like you pull into a parking place and it has one of these connectors to 1772 on it. A level two charger. It'll still take about two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours, okay? To charge a whole to car? To charge this car, because the bottleneck is not the power that can be provided to it. The bottleneck is the absorption rate of the lithium ion battery on its charger that we're supplying alternating current to. And on this car here, in particular, this 2013 car, um, its standard has 6.7 kilowatts of absorption rate per hour. Uh, like 28 and a half to 29 
amps of 240 volt power. And that's all these will do, because you can put 100 amps to it, but it's still only gonna draw the 28 and a half to 29 in. And um, so, so it takes two and a half hours from here to there? Yeah. And it would take the same time from a car, yes. uh, from a thing? Yes. On the, uh, a regular charger, not a fast charger? It would no, no, same, just a regular time. level two. So how, how fast does it take to, how long does it take to charge that battery? Okay. Um, with, when you get home at night, you plug in this 50, oh, you plug in this 50 amp, 240 volt plug into your wall. It's an RV plug. It's called a 1450. So you need an RV charger at home? No, you just need a, a wall, a plug like this at home. A plug in with How many one volts? of these, 240 volts, 50 amps. 50 amps. Yeah, so okay. whatever that is, uh, watt wise. And then you simply then plug this in into the car, okay? Yeah. And this in into the wall. And then it'll charge up both in about two and a half, three hours at home as well. That one, two and a half, three hours? Yes. And the lithium at the same time. And the lithium? Yes. Why? How? Well, How does it go because, through there and there? Well, because this has the lead acid battery charger built in that fills up this and it still continues through ah, the so loop. you plug that one too at the same time? Yeah, yeah. So you so only need well, one plug. How many recharge cycles do you have? Oh, that's a good point too. Now, there's a wives tale going around that you know that these won't work well and only so many depths of discharge but the battery manufacturer we're working with has studies and they have things and they tell me that um, even if i discharge them 100 percent depth of discharge like no energy in them at all or like 10 volts or something right that i can get 500 cycles 500 yeah 500 recharges before i got to worry about anything the lithium ion would be well, it can go the further. New, the modern ones can do more, right? Oh yeah, but if I only discharge these 85% depth of discharge, it's 2,500 cycles. So that's like 2,500 days divided by 365. You, We're talking six, seven years, can man. Can you put a limiter so you never cross the 85%? Oh yeah, I can use the voltage limiter, current limiter, whatever I want, the turn on a relay and the switch everything off. That's simple. And that's what we're gonna have on it. And you sure there's no issue with this idea, right? There's nothing wrong, it just works. Yeah, did you, did works. you drive all the way uh, from Iowa with this? Yeah, on well, charge? I didn't drive it all the no? way here because I, <laughs> I had to trail it because I had to get here quicker. But I drive this in rural Iowa every day. And get if you can get around there, the closest again, public charge, I'm say 36 to 40 miles away. And in the city that I'm from or close by, that's got like 200, 250,000 people. There's only like six level two public chargers with that plug in. Six chargers in one for city. For the whole city, yeah. So okay. you tell me another has some work got, to do, right? Yeah, well, I have some work to do. We're going to yeah. electrify the whole country. All right. And so so there's only six chargers in the city. And yeah. So you, 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 and, and then I should point out, like I told uh, some other people here today, three of them aren't open 24, only when they're open for business hours. Otherwise, you can't use their charger because it's got a RF card. And if you don't have that, it don't turn it on. So you never use those public chargers, right? I don't have to, no. Not at all. But you can still come back home? Yeah, by plugging it in my parking lot and going to work. How and many times have you done that thus far? Quite a few. Yeah, so I haven't kept track, but I was it one time. It is new, right? Yeah, yeah. But you are really yeah, using done it. And yes. And you know what else? One time we had one mile left to battery death on this car. Pulled along on the highway, plugged it in. On the highway. <laughs> and had it pulled over on the side of the road and was able to charge up to get the rest of the way home. And that's what we're doing. And this will open up the door to the average man getting an EV and having the range to go back and forth to work and commute everywhere and everywhere. And that's, we got pictures here on this flyer. Maybe that'll come in or not. We're along a river in a state park in rural Iowa and we're charging this car there. Off grid completely. There's no plugins around on this one. Now this one we show it hooking up to a 50 amp RV plug in right here. And then this is in front of a hotel called the Lincoln Highway Hotel. And it's really interesting that, that the Lincoln Highway was done roughly 100 years ago and we have Model T's. Okay, and, the, um, and President Lincoln's the one who freed the slaves, right? So we want to free our nation's energy addiction. We want to free our country's energy slavery just on the Lincoln Highway. That's where it's starting. That's why it's uh, prophetic for us to say that. But that's what, that's what we're doing. So you go to work, you yep. plug your car yep, yep, to your yep, car, yep. and yep. then you go back home. Correct. After you've done after work. After you've been so there you a couple two and hours. Half, three yeah, hours. Yeah, but yeah. So it's perfect for your commute. And then the further on version that we actually filed a provisional on too will be Android and iPhone controlled, and you'll be able to turn on the climate control inside the vehicle 
say 15 minutes before you were to leave your office so you so you were already charged up too and the vehicle's already hot or cold all right so uh, the ev is definitely happening right in this yeah. country yeah it's the and wave of the future are you going to sell outside the u.s uh we're hoping to i want to find yeah. business partners strategic partners in the u.s the eu china australia the whole world just i want to contact this. you right now yeah this year and how about what do you do before this project oh um i was uh, i had another business that failed because of 9 11. i used to make baby products actually I made strollers only what American happened with 9 11. <laughs> oh it happened because 9 11 caused a ripple in the u.s economy where people didn't buy things i lost purchase orders ah, okay my manufacturers uh, went out of business so i couldn't get my parts made um so you made a baby stroller yep yeah yeah believe that or not yeah, yeah. a car seat and stroller the only american manufacturer is strollers so you're like an inventor right i am an inventor but 9 11 really caused me a lot of personal problems because um i was in the war earlier and i seen a building across the street from me get blown up and when the first tower fell with all the fire engines and EMT people and all that, something went off in my mind and I um, lost my ability to do what I used to do anyway. And because they said I had chronic delayed. You were, you were in the military? Yes, uh, they said I had chronic PTSD. delayed PTSD that was, yeah. that was, oh, hey, hey, what are you doing? Uh, we need those papers, yeah. You need all these papers? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. I mean, we're, no problem. No problem. No, no, problem. no, no sorry, I got you. Yeah, I'm glad you caught it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We go no problem. The papers. No problem. Okay. Thank, cool. you. Cool. Thank you. Cool. All right. So uh, ah, that's good it. luck with the future and uh, looking yeah. forward to. Uh, yeah, yeah. And and just going to back see to some that, news though. about what you do next. Yeah. Uh, oh, and what we're doing next. One thing I should explain also is I have to park and charge right now because the manufacturer, the EVs, um, put safety control features on here. So when this is plugged into this port, you can't put the vehicle in drive. It's, it won't let you. It like locks up the transmission in park. But in the future, we're gonna hopefully partner with a few of these manufacturers and we're gonna hardwire that into the into the. So you wanna port. charge while you drive? Charge and drive is the next is step. Is that safe? Point. Yeah. And that's, but is that gonna be possible? Yeah, it is. But it will charge uh, this cord and you use the here. battery on. Yeah, but it'll still charge and drive. Charge something. Yeah. So you get like 30, 40% extra range or something, maybe. Well, no, you get all the extra range you'll be doing. It just fills up the battery that way from the back to the front. But you won't have this thing hanging out. You won't have an extension cord at all. You just need to update, the, hack the firmware on the Tesla or something. That's what I'm then, doing. Yeah, just, uh, just hack I, the firmware, When I have right? the funding, we're going to uh, take uh, one uh, apart. And uh, how about the, uh, how about <laughs> this idea? That, how about this idea where, where you could you could go into some kind of place and they swap you a full one with an empty one and just continue yeah, driving? Yeah, too complicated. You know, it's cheap battery, right? Yeah, it's cheap battery, but it's still too complicated. You need to automate it. You can't. Okay, much, maybe right? you know more than me. You come on okay, board and help happen. me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, no. Hey, thanks.